I installed the Bradford White Aerotherm heat pump water heater last summer after a major house renovation. I got rid of the oil fired water heater along with the oil burner because they were too old and needed an upgrade. I did some research and it looked like a heat pump water heater should be the best option for me. They can be up to three times more energy efficient than conventional electric water heaters. At first, I went to Home Depot and planned to buy an Arhim Pro Terra 50 gallon. Unfortunately, all local contractors at my place refused to install this water heater. And when I contact Home Depot contractors, they quoted me from $4,000 to $5,000. That was an insane price, and of course, I had to find another solution. I called some local plumbers and they only installed some certain water heaters. The Bradford White Aerotherm is one of them. I decided to go with this one since it's more affordable, especially after the tax credit. Installation of the Bradford is not too complicated, and I've seen many people self-install it. I hired an electrician and a plumber to install the water heater, and it took them just one morning. Considering its heat pump technology, it is important to ensure adequate space around the unit for air circulation. The Bradford is designed for small to medium-sized households. It is a bit bigger than a traditional water heater because there is an additional heat pump model mounted on top. In my test, the unit can provide enough hot water for two consecutive showers, each lasting between 10 to 15 minutes. However, towards the end of the second shower, I see a noticeable decrease in water temperature. This points to an adequate but not abundant supply of hot water for back-to-back -back usage. This model features dual thermostat system located on top and bottom of the tank. In many heaters, a single sensor at the top can be misleading as hot water rises, leaving the bottom cooler. The Bradford bottom sensor ensures that heating mechanism activates when the lower part of the tanks cool down, providing a more consistent hot water supply and avoiding the illusion of a fully heated tank when in fact only the top layer is hot. The recovery time of a water heater is a crucial metric, especially in scenarios when hot water is consumed rapidly. I set the operation mode of the water heater to heat pump only for maximum energy efficiency. After two showers, the Bradford nearly exhausts its hot water supply. In colder conditions like in the winter, with the unit placed in an unheated basement with ambient temperature below 50 degrees, it took approximately 5 hours to fully reheat the water. This duration might be a concern for households with higher demands, especially in colder climates. The sub-50 degree environment of the basement is still good enough for heat pump operation as the Department of Energy suggested that the ideal temperature for the heater is from 40 to 90 degrees. When it gets colder, we can experience prolonged recovery time. The initial cost of the Bradford White is higher as compared to traditional electric water heaters. However, the investment can be offset by its energy efficiency leading to lower operating costs over time. This is a good choice for small to medium-sized households. Potential buyers should consider their specific hot water usage patterns, ambient temperature conditions, and the balance between upfront costs and the long-term savings. I have no complaint during the last seven months using this water heater. With proper usage, it always provides enough hot water for my whole family, even during the coldest days, 
around 10 degrees Fahrenheit degrees at my place. <laughs> <laughs> 